our home. The earth is a huge ball covered with water, rocks and soil and surrounded by air. It is one of the eight planets that revolve around the sun. Our earth is a very small but very important part of the universe. It is the only planet in our solar system which supports life. Animals and plants live almost everywhere on the earth's surface. From the frozen surface of the Arctic to the dry, hot sands of the Sahara Desert. From the high snowy mountain peaks to the deep oceans. The factors that make it possible for living things to survive on Earth are water, air and the Earth's distance from the Sun. If it had been too close, it would have been very, very hot. And it would have been extremely cold if it had been too far away. So far, scientists have not been able to discover any evidence of life on any of the other planets. The shape of the Earth The Earth is not exactly round like a ball. It is flattened at the poles. It looks more like an orange. Two-thirds of the Earth's surface is covered with water and the rest one-third is land. The Earth is called the blue planet because a large part of it is covered with water which gives it a blue appearance. It appears blue from outer space. The Earth is surrounded by air. This is called the Earth's atmosphere. Air is a mixture of gases containing nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and a few other gases. It has the right amount of oxygen to support life. This atmosphere also protects us from the harmful rays of the sun. It traps the heat of the sun and keeps the earth warm. Without air, there would not be any sound. It is the waves in the air that help us to hear any sound. Horizon When we stand in an open place where there are no tall buildings and look at the land before us, it seems that the land and sky are meeting at the far end. Land and sky do not meet. They only seem to meet. This meeting place of the land and the sky is called the horizon or land horizon. If we go to a seashore and look far out at the sea, the sea and the sky seem to meet. This meeting place of the sea and the sky is called the sea horizon. 